Have you ever wondered what is done to protect endangered species? Well, let me tell you about the time I went to Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument to study the endangered monk seal. My name is Alex, and I'm a marine biologist who spent time at different field camps around the world. For this project, we got dropped off on a remote island in the middle of the Pacific for three months for our summer field season. And the only items we had were things that we could pack in these five gallon buckets and pelican cases. Even though life on the island was extremely simple, from living in tents and bathing in the ocean, this opportunity gave me a chance to experience nature like I've never experienced before. The bulk of our work included tagging and monitoring monk seals because there are only 1,600 left in the wild, and most of them are located in Papahanaumokuakea, a protected region northwest of the main Hawaiian Islands. Even though these tiny islands are thousands of miles away, they're not immune to the impacts of humans. The amount of plastic and marine debris that I found on the beaches was otherworldly, and because these low-lying islands don't have much elevation, they're at extreme risk of sea level rise and increased storm action as weather patterns shift. In fact, almost all all of the Hawaiian green sea turtles nest on one of these small little islands. And this island is at extreme risk of being completely washed away. When I was there, there was a marine debris team that helped clean up the islands. But this didn't stop the seals from playing with marine debris and being at risk of getting entangled. Over the course of the summer, we actually disentangled three monk seals, but that's a different story. Let me know in the comments if you want me to share that story next. One of the coolest parts about being in the monument was getting to see all of the different wildlife. This is truly the Serengeti of the Pacific. For example, I don't know too much about seabirds, but on this expedition, I was able to sit and observe these animals in their natural, undisturbed habitat. Every night, I observed this mass booby chick wait for its parents to come back from sea and bring it some dinner. While it might have looked like a tropical getaway, the days were long and strenuous, hiking over seven miles to count, photograph, and monitor the monk seals. And on your days off, you would hang out at camp and review your data to ensure that it's correct. One of the most surreal moments while up there was seeing a one-day-old seal. It was so fresh, it couldn't even open its eyes. This area of the Pacific is currently protected under monument status, but right now it's in the process of being designated as a national marine sanctuary. This designation wouldn't change the monument status, but would safeguard protection for this area, which is vital to so many different species. Within this protected area, there's no commercial fishing, no drilling for oil, gas, minerals, or energy development, no use of poisons, electrical charges, or explosives, and no anchoring on any live or dead corals. Protecting large expanses of the ocean is so important for ocean health, even beyond the limits of the monument. Spending time in Papahanaumokuakea is an experience that has changed my life forever. The green sea turtles taught me how to slow down and relax. The monk seals taught me how to play and enjoy life. And the seabird chick taught me how to be patient because good things will come. Now tell me, would you live on a remote island with nothing but seals and seabirds for three months?